hello there. If you watch our YouTube videos, you've probably seen this. This is our 2010 Coleman Camper. The box on it is about 26 foot long. We're putting it up for sale for $14,000. So let's take a look inside. All right, so we're here in the camper. This has a radio with a CD player and a audio jack that you can hook your uh, smartphone to. So if we look here, we have some storage up here. There's cabinets here. Um, get some nice cabinet space. They seal nicely so they don't come open while you're driving. As you can see, there's some more space here. Then there's more cabinet space here. And down here, so down here we have more cabinet space. As you can see, this is underneath the sink, so it's not too much storage down there. But you can fit your cleaning supplies. Here we have a drawer, along with two more. Here is your stove with your oven. Up here we have a microwave. This was a nice addition that uh, we had. It's a paper towel holder. There's a light here above the sink so you can see while you're doing dishes. There's also a light and a fan above the uh, stove. Here's your microwave. Over here is your control panel for your uh, tanks. This button here you can push to view your battery, your fresh water. Now that's the fresh water in your tank. That's uh, empty. Black water is empty. Your gray water is just about empty. Here, this button, that's for your water pump. That's to pump the water out of your water tanks uh, so you can run the faucets, get a shower. This here, as you can see, is for the gas water heater. This here is for the electric water heater. So there's two water heaters. One runs on propane and one runs on electric. Um, I've turned these both on already and I've had hotter water longer when we were uh, hooked up on uh, city water. This here is our refrigerator. Um, it's currently off because we're parked. We uh, packed it up for winter. You push it on auto. It'll run on gas. Then if it runs out of propane, it'll automatically switch over to electric. Or you can keep it on gas all the time. Now that's propane gas. There's two propane tanks. Um, outside that give you a nice capacity we were gone for 40 days and 40 nights and we only used one and a half tanks back here we had the bathroom there's a shower with a small tub that's only good for little children um, you have your pedal flush toilet your sink, and then there's some storage down here underneath the sink. Okay, so do this, you just move the cushions out of the way. Then you lift up this board here that locks in. And then you have storage down there.
this also folds down into another bed. So what you would do is, what you would do is you would unscrew these legs here, and then the table just sets down on this edge here. I don't know if you can see that. There's an edge here that that would sit on, and then you just lay your cushions out. And this here is the couch. You can pick this up, and there's some storage down underneath the couch. And you could also pull this out, and you have a bed. Um, so, so far you could sleep one uh, person on the dinette or maybe two children. Um, one person here. You could sleep one person in the bathtub. Then there's a small bunk up here. Um, you could sleep one person. There's also some storage back here. Then there's a wider bunk here on the bottom. You can sleep one more person. Or probably two young kids if they got along. This here is your control for your... Uh, furnace it keeps nice and toasty in here when it's cold out that runs off of propane as well back here is like your master bedroom you have some closet space here where you can hang your curtains or curtains you can hang your uh, clothes up in there there's one on the other side as well here there's cabinet space. Now, there's cabinet space from here all the way over to there where it meets with the other uh, closet. And that's all connected. Then in here at the foot of the bed, if you lift it up, there's a board underneath the mattress. This lifts up and you can access more storage. Then you can just push this down. And that shuts. Over here on the wall, we have a flat screen TV here that we mounted. Now this is on an arm. So if we unhook this bungee cord that we have it attached so it doesn't fly around while we're driving, you can pull the TV out. And you can move it to your liking on this uh, wall-mounted arm back here. When we were in feet, when we were uh, camping at the base of the Superstitious Mountains, we were 40 miles west of Phoenix, Arizona, and with the TV antenna here, this is the adjustment. Um, you crank this to turn it up and down, and you pull this down and you turn it to change directions. I'll show you that when uh, we get outside. We got the equivalent, probably of, it was like having cable TV uh, through the TV antenna. So I'm gonna step outside and I'm gonna show you the pastures. If you look up there on the roof, there's your TV antenna. There. Um, is your power awning. So we're going to walk over here. And I'm going to show you inside our pass through here. As you can see, there's a whole lot of storage in here. There's also a light up here, as you can see. So 
so let's take a look at the other side. I have something to show you. Now these are just held up by these little uh, tabs. You pull it up, you pull this forward, and this holds it open. You push this, and then here's a, a thumb lock. You just turn that and it locks, and then here's a lock you can lock with a key. You step over here. We have this big power inverter we added in. Um, I believe it say here. No, it doesn't. This convert this has five thousand running watts and ten thousand max watts. So it surges at ten thousand watts. Over here is your uh, fill for your tanks. So what you would do is you would take like a garden hose and you could fill this up. This here um, is your city water connection. So when you park at a campground with, full, with hookups, you just screw on a garden hose here. This here is your outdoor shower. This here is where you would uh, hook up your power, whether you're running off of a generator or if you are uh, at a campsite. This here, if you um, are somewhere and you they have cable TV, you can hook up a uh, cable wire to here. The, this camper has three has four brand new tires on it. There is a spare. Uh, let's go take a look at the other side. As you can see, we have some nice tires on here. This here is outdoor power. So if you want like to sit outside, you can plug in radio or something like that. We walk back here. This here is a uh, door on the passenger side of this camping trailer. If you look in here, this gives you this gives you access to more storage underneath the bottom bunk. This here also lifts up. If you don't want to use the bottom bunk, and you can store taller items. Then there's also a handle and a lock there. For a reference of how far we went with this camper, we started, this is where we picked it up um, in southern New Jersey, and we went from our home in uh, New Jersey all the way out west as you can see then uh, out there we went to Yellowstone um, we went to see the Badlands in South Dakota up here we went to Niagara Falls um, Utah we went to Bryce Canyon Arizona we went to the Grand Canyon we stayed in by the Superstitious Mountains. Then we stayed in Tombstone, Arizona. We went to Roswell, New Mexico. Then we went through Oklahoma, Arkansas. We saw um, the Lost Sea Caverns in Sweetwater, Tennessee. And we cooked our country ham here in Virginia. Hey, Big Jim Country Boy here. Unfortunately, YouTube's not paying its way. I'm not making any money. So, uh, breaks my heart. But I gotta sell this, baby. So, uh, it's 14000 or best offer if you're in the vicinity of New Jersey. Um, if you're not too far away, I may be able to deliver it for a small fee. Uh, so, uh,
Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And if you want to get a hold of me, uh, you can either do it down below in the comments or you can go to the Facebook page, Big Jim Country Boy Live on Facebook. Big Jim Country Boy. And uh, it's all capital letters, no spaces as usual. And uh, you can get a hold of me, message me through Facebook also. So until next time, thank you very much. Like, subscribe, and keep watching. And uh, click the bell icon for notifications when we put up new great videos like this one. And uh, please use our links below for Amazon and Walmart.com if you plan on doing any purchasing of anything on their website. I do get a small discount if you use one of my links to get you to their site. Um, we are also on Patreon now. If you want to donate anything, we would appreciate it. I haven't even had a cold beer in a month. It's that tight. The straps are tight. The belts are tightened up. So uh, please, if you could give anything on Patreon, we're going to keep trying bringing you nice new videos. But any help or support you can give would be great. Thanks. Have a good day and happy holidays to you.